and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as you're aware, we return once more to the famous, or nay, should I say, infamous Santon Church, or St. Helen's Church, or All Saints Church, whichever way you want to describe it. It's the place which is inhabited by the late Richard Kendall Esquire, who lived during the Civil War period and was banished as a priest because of his lewd and licentious behavior. In fact, it's alleged that within this church, or the church which existed during that time, and I will add a little bit more detail to that, it is alleged that he had orgies with young ladies from the village and that uh, a number of people indulged in this. Of course, the church got to hear about it and he was expunged. He was thrown out of the living and it wasn't until the resurgence of monarchy at the end of the Civil War that he was invited to return to this parish, fully augmented once more as the local parish priest. Anyway, Eddie, you know this church more so than anybody else, so tell us what's been happening here since we were last here. Well, we had one lady, she had a bra on clipped. Uh, a lady was... had a bra on oh, clipped? Yeah, literally. She was sitting right there in this little poo just here, uh -huh. and uh, she's, all of a sudden she laughed, turned around, and there she was, she slowly slid down the actual pew, put her hands behind the back. And, and reattached it. And she <laughs> said to her friend, she said, Rob, it's come undone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing about the Reverend Kendall is that the man, albeit in spirit, um, over those centuries has not lost any of his sense of humour here. And uh, that is so typical of Kendall. And on occasions with the ghost box, we've had some amazing responses here, haven't we? Surprising to me, it made me believe in ghost boxes. I had no beliefs in ghost boxes. I will just say another one that did happen. It's a bit naughty. A uh, girl was actually near strangled. Mm. She felt tight, tight and around the throat. She said, it's like a hand. And um, well, what, what was the precursor for that? I mean, what actually generated that activity? Well, I have to say, they are attracted to women and they can do nasty things. Well, I'm certainly hopeful he's not going to tonight with Pat. Well, it's been scratched, they've been bit. Mm. Uh, so it's nothing mm. new. Bring footsteps again. Well, you, you may hear mine as I'm turning around. No, you weren't moving when you, oh. s when you said that. You heard it as well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. We, we've <laughs> actually, well, Eddie, Eddie actually captured a pair of footsteps moving at great strange. speed all the way down the aisle, literally. Yeah. There is, there is noises, but they're very faint. Mm -hmm. Maybe the camera will pick it up. The haunted poo was a bit strange, really, because we had men, grown men, just burst into tears. No reason whatsoever. And I mean, so there was a guy, he comes straight out of, this, out of the army. And he came here, he sat in the actual corner poo, and he just splattered. Another one, he said, oh my God, I've never felt so sad in all my life, apart from when my dad died. Really? Uh, women. They've had cold breezes and that uh, just straight waft and strain the faces around the bodies and that one or two have had scratch and fear, scratch feelings, being scratched. Just an interesting sort of situation as it's actually come through. I can imagine. I mean, it, it so many people have reported so many different things there. I've just seen but, the spirit. What about, yeah. I've just, I've just seen the spirit. Where? Where? Right between you and uh, oh, Sir Napau. He's here, around, is he? Into the chancel. No, you've just seen him walk past? Yep. Yeah. See him come at you. You were there and he come walking beside of you. What about you, Pat? What are you feeling? I, I, I feel there is somebody here walking around, wandering about. Mm hmm. I feel quite cold standing here. And do you feel okay? Was, yeah, out there I was quite warm, but here I feel a bit shivery. It is very cold yeah. in here, yes. It's because this is his lair. This is, oh, is this it? Oh. Yeah, this is where he's buried. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh, whereabouts? Somewhere beneath the yeah, chancel. My feet like, feel like frozen, they're really cold. When we've done a uh, dancing session, 
the actual thousand rods crossed exactly there. Oh, I should have brought a pendulum. Yeah, I Oh, it's here. Oh, it's buried here. Yeah, in a different spot where we torches. Oh, yes, I didn't know. His feet were caught by Eddie on camera, disappearing as it entered into the chancel. He went below the threshold of the footstep. <laughs> Obviously, what you're feeling is he is here and yeah. his energy is very strong. Yeah, it's and it's palpable by the cold that you're feeling. Yeah, I, I was all right out there, but in here now I feel really cold and frozen. Well, we've been here for a while. It's very, very cold tonight, and particularly so in here as, as picked up by Pat. Um, I've certainly smelled alcohol, I smelled BO, which are part, part and parcel of the course here. I've not seen any light anomalies and I haven't heard any voices other than what appears to be a, a number of voices, very faint in the background. Uh, so quiet I can't discern what the conversation is about, but I can guess, I can guess it's about us. If there's anyone else here apart from Reverend Kendall, who'd like to say hello? Can you, can you say that again? Who was that just said hello? Can you tell me your name, please? Can you come through and leave us a message, please? Got any messages for us? And how did you feel about Cromwell and his uh, Puritan allies? <laughs> 